Knights defenseman Scott Harrington is making quite an impression on Hockey Canada Brass. He can pretty much do anything you need him to. The OHL sophomore continues his ascent in our country's national hockey system. Just being selected for the under-17 uh, team at Christmas for Ontario, that was a, uh, a big privilege. And uh, to move on from there to the under-18 team, uh, get kids from all over the country. So uh, you know, it's, re it's a really big honour. He can be a shutdown defenseman against the other team's best players and uh, take them off their game. He can be on your power play because he moves the puck well. He uh, joins the rush and has great gap going up the ice and creates offensive chances. Or he can be uh, right in people's faces in the neutral zone and take away scoring chances and transition the puck up. Just last month, Taylor Hall made headlines when he decided to skip Hockey Canada's summer development camp. And Spitfire Ryan Ellis elected to forego as well. While those two have earned the right to take a summer break, younger players like Harrington need to grind it out during these months to A, get ready for their junior year, and B, raise their profile with Hockey Canada. You know, it's the middle of summer, most guys aren't skating that much right now, so I think it was a big adjustment for everyone going back to, into a game setting in the middle of summer, but uh, you know, don't try to do too much, or, uh, something you're not comfortable doing. Uh, the guys uh, made it here by doing what they do best, so I think if uh, just continue doing that, it should be fine. He is no doubt going to be an impact player and a leader on the Knights Blue Line this upcoming season. As a 16-year-old, he posted an astonishing plus 25 rating and attributes that to his coaching staff back here. Hunter and Jack Boyle, uh, they did a phenomenal job, you know, great coaches, and uh, they really taught me a lot, and uh, they're definitely uh, a big reason why I'm here today. He's currently projected as a first-rounder in the 2011 NHL draft, and the more exposure he gets to top-level competition through venues like this tournament will only raise his level of play in the upcoming OHL season. Brent Lale, a news.